we have Dr. Gaurav Gupta. He is a, a neurosurgeon from the Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital and Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. He is the director of, you ready for this one? Cerebrovascular and Endovascular Neurosurgery. It couldn't be more esoteric, but it couldn't be more important. And that's why we have Dr. Gupta on the line. Are you there, Dr. Gupta? Yes, I am. Good evening. Well, thank you. Thanks so much. I know you were on the show a couple of years ago. You were a wonderful guest. And I'm so happy to have you back. Tonight we're going to be talking about aneurysms, a potentially fatal condition that occurs when a bulge uh, develops in the wall of an artery. I'll, t uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you describe what an aneurysm is because you deal with them and I just deal with wrinkles. And <laughs> Tell us. Uh -huh. uh, more than happy to. Um, aneurysms can form anywhere in the body. Wherever there's a blood vessel, that can form an aneurysm. When it forms in the brain, it's called a brain aneurysm. It's basically a weakened spot, a weak spot on the blood vessel, pretty similar to your uh, bubble on the tire of your car or bubble on the garden hose. So in, um, that would be the closest description I can uh, give you for that. All right. So, so you have an aneurysm. How many people a year get aneurysms in the brain in the United States? Boy, um, in the United States, about 6 million people, so basically 1 in 50 people, probably have a brain aneurysm, 2% of the population. That, that, that's really an, an amazing number. So now doctors at Robert Wood Johnson are now using a revolutionary device, and that's why you're on tonight, because uh, this is something really cool, really interesting. It's the Web Aneurysm Embolization System. Wow, the Web Aneurysm Embolization System, and it's going to help lots of people who have had aneurysm. So tell us a little bit about this new technology. Um, Dr. Perry, within neurosurgery, I think if there is one area of research which has really revolutionized in the last couple of years, is the field of vascular neurosurgery. Um, traditionally, we treat brain aneurysms with open brain surgery where you need a craniotomy to remove part of the bone and then go in to clip the aneurysm. Uh, research in the last two decades has uh, taken this into a, a whole new dimension. Now we can do the treatment of such diseases from within the blood vessel, almost like a rotor, um, and we can go from the blood vessel in the wrist or the blood vessel in the groin, patients usually prefer the wrist. And then we go inside those pipes, go all the way into the brain, go right where the aneurysm is, and heal it from inside by deploying this device called the web device. It stands for woven endobridge device. It was, wow. uh, I think it was, it, it was just recently approved by FDA in December. And uh, uh, we were the first um, in the state of New Jersey and certainly one of the first in the nation uh, to perform this procedure. Oh, so here we are just eight or nine months after FDA approval. You've got this brand new device, which is going to save people. Wow, a craniotomy. And for those of you who are out there listening, and I know there are tens of thousands of you, a craniotomy is, is a pretty serious procedure. And when uh, Dr. Gupta, a neurosurgeon, can avoid that and do surgery within a blood vessel, uh, how, how many days are people in the hospital after a procedure like this? Traditionally, if we do it, for example, on a Wednesday, they stay in the ICU on a Wednesday. They go to the floor on Thursday and home by Friday. So remember, everybody, if you're going to have this, uh, you've got to have it on a Wednesday. Then you, <laughs> then you go home on Friday. <laughs> all right. What, uh, in all seriousness, and this is a very serious issue, and, uh, and it, it's so wonderful that technology is changing to treat things that before would put people in uh, in a wheelchair or put people as as uh, cripples almost where you can't speak properly or maybe you're blind in an eye it's just absolutely outstanding that medicine has progressed and that you are doing this procedure so now tell us what causes a brain aneurysm you know there's a lot of research going on we haven't yet found the exact reason it's probably genetic but we do know what makes it worse um, Hypertension, smoking, being female, um, uh, patients who are um, Hispanic and African American, for some reason, all these risk factors actually make the aneurysm uh, bigger and probably rupture. And so what, what are the symptoms first? Do, do people get a warning or, uh, or is it just, uh, wow, you know, get me to the emergency room as soon as possible? Right. It, it could be either way. It could be that the 
some of the aneurysms are completely silent and the patients do not necessarily have to have a headache. But most of the patients, when the aneurysm does rupture, they have the worst headache of life. Look, I have aneurysms, oh, sorry, I have uh, um, uh, uh, headaches myself and I'm a migraine sufferer. However, I know what my migraines are. That's why, what I tell all the patients, you know what your headaches are. However, if this is a different headache, if this is what we call a 10 out of 10 headache, the worst headache of life, or you have some eye pain, vision problems, eye movement problems, nausea, vomiting, um, loss of consciousness, then immediately we recommend dialing 911 and going to the nearest hospital. My guest this evening is Dr. Gaurav Gupta. He is the director of cerebrovascular and endovascular neurosurgery. A lot of words, a lot of words. He's at the Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and he's a, a professor at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. And uh, we're talking about brain aneurysms tonight and the fascinating and incredible new treatment for brain aneurysms. And, and Dr. Gupta was telling us about the signs uh, that you might have, you know, what what you're experiencing. And uh, it is so important to go right to a center like the Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. Why is that important? Though? Why can't you just go to the community hospital? Uh, brain aneurysms can be a very complex and challenging condition. And you need a team of doctors, not one person but a team, multidisciplinary team of physicians. Uh, for example, interventional neuroradiologists, we have an excellent one, Dr. Roy Chaudhary, here at Rabo Johnson. Um, then uh, open shibavascular neurosurgery, there's Dr. Adi Landa, there's stroke neurologist, there's neuro ICU, Dr. Kiwon Lee is there. So a whole host of multidisciplinary team of people who actually participate, and it's only possible in large academic comprehensive stroke centers like uh, Rabo Johnson. And that is so important. You, you know, it's, it's kind of a funny thing. A lot of people uh, tell me, oh, I'm going to uh, retire and go to some remote location in uh, northern Vermont or something. And I, and I think as a physician, well, you know, that, that's great. Uh, you know, you can see the cows, but heaven forbid you get sick. <laughs> you want to be, yeah. be near a hospital like Robert Wood Johnson, that's for sure. That's kind of the way I think. What can I say? All right, so now. Once someone comes to you, they're in the emergency room, they say, I've got this unbelievable headache and, and I really can't move part of my body. What do you do then? How do you diagnose the aneurysm? What do you do? Um, the first thing that we do is a plain CAT scan. No dye is required, a plain CAT scan of the head. Because the most important thing to distinguish is, is the aneurysm ruptured? Is it about to rupture? Or is it an unruptured? So CAT scan of the brain. After that, we give the dye which lights up all the blood vessels in the brain. And that shows an abnormality in the brain, uh, in the area of the brain aneurysm. Um, then the treatment varies. If the treat, there is basically twofold. One is the actual treatment for the brain aneurysm. And the second is the treatment for the effects of brain, uh, blood that's already leaked out. It can also cause the obstruction of the water system of the brain, what, what we call obstructed hydrocephalus. And most often than not, if the patient does survive the initial bleed, um, uh, then uh, the, the re-bleed is what we're trying to prevent with devices like the web device um, um, uh, there. Uh, we also treat the hydrocephalus because that can be an immediate cause of death as well. All right, so, so let's, uh, in the last couple of minutes we have, tell us a little bit more of this fascinating new technology. So uh, remember that most people don't even know what a cell is, so <laughs> we don't want to get too technical. But tell us, uh, you know, just what do you do when you go in there in the uh, blood vessel and go into the brain? What are you trying to do? The goal of treatment of the brain aneurysm itself is to shut the door of the brain aneurysm. That means we don't want any blood to go in to that bubble. And however you can shut it, as I said, traditionally it was open brain surgery, then it became coiling, and then it became newer devices that you just put in the aneurysm. It's a sac-like device that you put in there uh, to exact measure the same, the device is the same uh, it measures the same as the aneurysm measures and stops the blood from flowing into the aneurysm. And if blood won't go into the aneurysm, it's not going to rupture again. So that's one of the devices. 
That is absolutely fascinating and, and life-saving. And I, I really want to thank you for what you do, Dr. Grubb. Uh, Gupta, he is a neurosurgeon at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. Uh, remember, it's Wednesday. You want to have this procedure? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, but uh, seriously, it's doctors like you that are are you know we adore doctors like you, and I and I say that with with great sincerity because you bring these new techniques that are life saving to the to the uh, the patients, and everybody's a patient at one point or another. Uh, in the New York and New Jersey area at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick. Thank you so much for taking time on your Saturday evening, Dr. Gupta. Thank you, Dr. Perry, and I really thank you for spreading the awareness of uh, medical diseases like brain aneurysms. Really, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're, you're very welcome.